So people might have seen my, my pre-tox ebook. I talk a lot about pre-tox because I've noticed that a lot of patients have come to me, they've done a detox and they feel terrible in the middle of the detox. They mm. have to stop or they felt worse after the detox or they gained a lot of weight after the detox and they don't understand why. So there's a lot, there's a lot of factors we need to consider before we actually detox. I've talked about some of them, like taking care of bone turnover, making sure that there's adequate minerals and vitamins and amino acids, because those are the cofactors for our detoxification pathway. And I've talked about looking at our genes of detoxification, even the genes of inflammation, um, looking at our hormones, all of this, but nobody does a detox with me unless I assess these things and optimize them first. I'm also yeah. going to look at, yeah, the organs of elimination because a lot of people, their bodies are not ready. So I want to, I'm really actually doing a scan of their organs of elimination. I'm doing this through the labs. I'm doing this through taking a clear history. So for example, the gut, if a patient is constipated and we start to pull toxins out of their system, those, those toxins are not going to get released from their body. They're just going to build up. They're going to recirculate regarding the gut. If the patient has diarrhea, a lot of patients do, or um, irritable bowel syndrome, then their gut's inflamed. It's yeah. not a good time to flush the toxins through. They, they can't handle it. What if the patient has leaky gut? Almost everyone has leaky gut. At least my patients do, right? So you, someone has leaky gut and I pull toxins through, what's going to happen? the inflammation from the toxins or, or the toxins themselves can circulate through to the rest of the system through, through uh, the compromised gut integrity lining. The kidneys, recurrent urinary tract infections, women in menopause tend to get those due to lack of hormones. So what if that's happening? Hmm. And I try to detox and they've got recurrent UTIs. That's not a good time. Or some people have um, um, interstitial cystitis, which is um, inflammation in the kidneys for a multitude of reasons. I think toxins could be one of them. Mm. I certainly don't want to tox then. Or some of my patients have a low filtration rate. If the kidneys aren't filtrating rapidly enough and I start to pull toxins out, what's going to happen? They're just going to recirculate again. Or liver enzymes. Liver enzymes could be elevated. If someone drinks a lot of alcohol or um, they've had a lot of antibiotic use over time and they're sensitive to these things, that's a good hint that the liver is having a hard time mm. or the thyroid, right? So I want to correct all these things as best as I can. The thyroid is very, very sensitive to inflammation. It's, it's, I mean, the number of people with Hashimoto's is on the rise. I think that's due to environmental toxins, a combination of, of toxins and, and infections, but I want to deal with that first as best as I can before I start to detox. So as so you can see, I'm, I'm scanning the whole system to make yeah. sure that the entire system is ready for detox. I, I realize that what I could be saying here could, could sound overwhelming to people, right? Because yeah. there's so many different pieces and not everybody has issues in every single one of these systems. My patients do because I focus on patients who have complex chronic illness, the, the, the mystery illnesses like um, chronic fatigue syndrome, post-infectious diseases, Lyme disease, long haul, COVID mm -hmm. syndrome, autoimmune conditions, fibromyalgia, things like that. So yeah. that patient population in every single system, we're going to find yeah. some, some kind of imbalance, right? Now in, um, in, in, in people who it's not so bad, they're just a little bit inflamed. They've got low grade inflammation. This is a much simpler process, right? I still strongly recommend that, that their whole system gets thoroughly evaluated by the doctor including the genes, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and the, the toxins, looking at them on the labs and then going from there. But it'll be a lot, a lot more simple with somebody when it's just low-grade inflammation, that's for sure.